Hello, and this is Daniel Peterson's submission for the individual project 2024 at Hyper Island. And I'm enrolled in Fed 25. My game, Scary Night Walk game or Scary Challenge game or yeah, it have had uh, quite some different names during this development. To start off with, I had the idea, actually an old idea I've had of a game where you are kind of in a scary setting walking towards the church and there's monsters hiding behind the trees and you are just having your light or your flashlight as your weapon and I started off with ideation and research uh, and actually we had a lecture about storytelling and so I started writing down the story of how you would experience the game and then I looked online for different types of inspiration and things and I kind of went with the cuter style uh, not so scary because I have two small children and I want them to be able to play the game too and yeah they actually really like the game even though it's totally not finished but anyway I went into idea mapping and I used my robot to do that where I put in all my different thoughts and things to kind of have everything collected in one place and then I wrote a story and you have been challenged by your friend to go to this scary church and you only have your flashlight and then there's monsters hiding behind the trees and there's you can only use that to scare them away I started doing this kind of mind mappy style of how I would solve different kind of things in the code for example using ray casting in the flashlight um, yes and other things I made my own sort of Trello board to be able to have some sort of agile workflow, you know, uh, where I have things to be done and things I'm working on and things that are done and also different things that are discarded that I don't use anymore. I coded in React and 3JS, actually 3, React 3 Fiber that's on top of 3JS to be able to use it with React and also Dre, a different library. With that, I used React Spring for animations and I also learned Yarn and Vite to be able to use my uh, building uh, so in Cloudflare where I was hosting the page. Uh, and I used Slint as a formatter for the code. I tried to structure the code, but I think I have to redo some of these things because yeah, it's completely a work in progress. And then I fell into a rabbit hole kind of in the middle way through there with Blender because I didn't really want the world to just be a flat green surface. I wanted it to be more indulging. And yeah, you can see there on the bottom half of the picture there, that's how materials are structured in Blender where yeah, depending on the angle of the face of the 3D, it changes material. So the grass would be the flat parts and yeah. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, that was a rabbit hole. I want to give a big, huge thanks to Quaternius, a webpage I found, a guy that makes low poly models and some other models. You can download totally for free and use. So yeah, from him I got the stars of the show. And the spider, the skeleton, the demon, the zombie, the goblin and the bat. Uh, and also I re changed a little bit of one of his pumpkins to guess it Halloween pumpkin. Here is a progress picture where you can see the early stage of the map where it's actually just a flat green surface and there's nothing behind and yeah, a bit dull. But that soon changed. And here's some, yeah, you can see much more active. Here's some ideas I had for mobile view. And that is still work in progress. I put in some more models and yeah, I made the models, models animated, move, moving. And then there was the darkness where you can see the flashlight is the thing to use. Here's the latest edition, the Halloween edition. I think it's going to be suitable. And actually, yeah, you can see there's spiders there too. A summary, ideation, research, inspiration, idea mapping, creating the story. The workflow, gaining new knowledge, applying new knowledge. And yeah, I am currently in an internship and I have experience now. Yeah, idea, research, create, evaluate, 
and then do some more googling and then try some more code and then check that basically no one knows anything and everyone makes everything up as they go along thank you for watching and happy halloween, halloween.